Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, welcome to Radko Taro and uh, in this whole video we're going to look into Capricorn and their week December 7th to uh, December 13th 2020 and uh, should you wish to have a personal reading with me uh, you can always check the <clears throat> description the description down below and there you're going to see a full list of my services as well their pricing and um, you can sign up for a online tarot classes should you wish to learn tarot from me. So that being said, let's move to the reading straight away. And the first card that we do have for Capricorn for their week, that is going to be the Five of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, we do have the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic. That is going to be the um, Empress, followed by uh, the challenges that Capricorn needs to overcome throughout the week. That will be justice afterwards that is to be the gifts and the blessings that capricorn get to enjoy throughout the week itself that will be the two of wands followed by uh, how people see you what what impression you leave into the people around that is to be the page of wands afterwards are the obstacles which are to hold you back and down that is to be the nine of wands then what we have it is the positive aspects that uh, you you will have to to capitalize on or to utilize in your benefits so <clears throat> you push yourself forward that will be the three of wands and the last card that we do have which stands as the guidance that Tsar is offering we do have the six of swords okay so uh That is how it stands here. Uh, the week will be like a, a, a moment of the best word that I can find for it is sobriety or sobriety about life itself. Uh, the first two cards, Capricorn, which uh, are showing the topic and the energies which are feeding the topic, because the energy is of the Empress here these energies are going to make you ask yourself a few questions couple of them which are uh, very profound and they are to be how did i come to this and where to from now on and you should not rush your conclusions uh, at what you came up initially with, uh, with, those, with the answer of those questions, but that energy is going to make you um, more prone, if I may say it that way, to seclude yourself or to, to, to withdraw yourself from the midst of activities. Your job, for example, or your relationship, for example, your family, uh, your friends as well, uh, because <clears throat> you alone are going to uh, kind of like suspect at start and then be convinced in it afterwards that whatever makes you feel uncomfortable it is just a trifle and you definitely can live without it and even have better life without it as well so the only question that will remain afterwards it is how to make it so and that is something that you will have to make a decision over when you do seclude yourself uh, outside of the midst of activities, trying to get the most, um, if you will, mature and well-found decision for yourself. Because this week it is all about you and how to make your life more comfortable. That being said, um, once you do make up your mind about all that I told thus far, uh, then you are going to undertake the trifles themselves and that is going to be this, the, the very topic of, uh, of the week. So you will have to clear out all those uh, questions, for example, all those matters, all those issues or concerns that are making you feel uncertain and insecure where your future lies. Uh, for example, if you do have some, you know, sus suspicious about 
your relationship, you're going to talk about it and clear out that misunderstanding with your partner. If you do have some, uh, how can I say, uncertainties into your career, you're going to stand up and talk about them as well. <clears throat> and in generally, uh, you are to try to, uh, like I said, you know, under, undertake and overcome uh, simultaneously all aspects of your life that are making you feel bad. And the resolution for them is going to come about in no time because that's, that's all that is needed to, um, to acknowledge the state you are in, to acknowledge what the problems are and to actually address them. And once you do so, they're going, they going to start resolving themselves one by one. Not themselves, you're going to start resolving them one by one. Which is going to be really the challenge here that is going to be justice and uh, the challenge is not going to be the resolution itself but it's going to be the string of resolution which problem should take place first or which problem should be tackled first here now in order to overcome that challenge you capricorn need to put your emotions and your passion aside and instead look at your uh, responsibilities and your problems with astute discernment, differentiating which requires more, more immediate concern and which can wait afterwards. Where does your, the sense, of, uh, where does your sense of emergency lie and, and what cannot wait for tomorrow to be tackled with? Uh, and uh, once you do identify, you know, the immediate concerns, once you do identify what kind of an action you are going to undertake toward those concerns, then, um, how can I say, then results imminently are going to follow either career-wise or either relationship-wise. Now, if I have to give you an example for either of those relationship-wise, that card refers to the balance out there and how to remain the balance, in the, the, the balance in the relationship in the material field, meaning that you should not meaning that you are going to regain, you know, the, um, uh, the sense of equilibrium there, that you are not pulling your husband, for example, on your back, or your husband isn't pulling you on your back, or you're not pulling your wife uh, through on your back, like carrying on the whole thing yourself, and the other person doesn't give a dime about it, you know. <clears throat> you're going to talk about those things and regain the balance out there. Uh, same thing in terms of a uh, career, there it's more about um, taming the chaos and uh, systemizing a plan of moving forward through the responsibilities in the career that concerns you and the people that you are working with. So moving next, we do have the gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy Capricorn and that is to be the two of ones. So the gift for you guys, it's um, the good achievements that you are stepping on. And judging by the previous cards, maybe you do not realize actually the blessings that you have, that have been, that had been bestowed upon you, okay? Uh, because they may be in disguise, I'm saying judging by the other cards, because the week is going to be, like I said, tackling with the aspects that are giving you sense of uncertainty and insecurity. And before you do tackle with them and resolve them, most likely you are not going to be fixated on those good achievements that you have accomplished thus far. And once you do, once you do realize, you know, how in fact good patterns are beneath your feet, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, uh, then you are going to uh, realize how far they can, uh, they can stretch even further. And uh, that is to, how can I say, sprawl you with uh, confidence, it's going to sprawl you with the determination, as well with, uh, how can I say, with enthusiasm was the word that I was searching for. And the other blessing and a gift that uh, you are to be, uh, that is to be bestowed upon you throughout the week is the gift of uh, unyieldingness, if that's a word. Uh, what I mean here is that regardless of in how difficult time, or of how much difficult time you are going to find yourself at, emotionally or materially throughout the week itself, you are not going to uh, allow anything to spoil your determination toward, toward your goal. 
for your goal is going to be the thing that illuminates the path the path forward regardless of the darkness that you are finding yourself at so no matter how tough once again and how difficult the matter in front of you is this these gifts and blessings are showing that just remembering your goal is going to give you the strength to overcome it uh, next one that we do have it is the way that people look at you and what kind of impression they do have in you that is going to be the page of strong uh, the page of strong oh my god the page of wands uh, and because I, I'm kind of like getting ahead of myself here and uh, what I was about to say here it is that people are, are going to look at you as a very strong individual someone that just recently had reminded to themselves how strong they are and how far they can get and uh, uh, some of the, not everybody but some of the people that are around you are going to look at you uh, and see somebody reborn someone that is just regaining back the taste of life ready to experience anything new that it is that it is thrown their way someone that lives once more but people also are going to acknowledge your fragile nature nature i'm sorry uh, from within and for that reason you may expect more milder behavior towards you more gentle behavior more uh, how can i say nurturing and nourishing behavior towards you than usual more yeah it's, it's gentle it's the word that it should correlate with it the most and uh, that's uh, these energies if i may say it that way uh, is going to make people um, your friends uh, your family once again you know the partner in life colleagues etc etc to unfortunately spare you from any bad news if there are any and that could deprive you of an information that you may want to know about it's going to come to you, but it may not come to you in time throughout the week. So any, every time when you do um, kind of like sense that something is unspoken, you should try to kind of like dig deeper. And the last thing that I want to say about this card it is that how people are going to say you uh, are going to see you is a, as a person who hates being told what to do. So not a very good impression in your boss. I guess uh, if you do have some kind of a job that you are dependable on uh, on your boss <clears throat> or um, if you are in a for example a relationship that's the patriarch of it it's it's your wife or your husband the other person what I mean <clears throat> uh, insubordinate it is how people are gonna look at you so uh, moving next we do have the um, obstacles which are going to hold you back and that is uh, the nine of wands so there is a, a very good parable in my country that describes the card flawlessly but it's a bit vulgar and uh, due to uh, YouTube uh, rules and regulations I can't say it uh, but I'm going to try to explain it that way uh, the obstacles are going to be your past experience in a sense of that you are going to try to do the new stuff here or like I said the regaining of taste of life and so on and so forth in the uh, you're going to try to do the new stuff by the old ways so it, it, it's like um, another parable of it it is like the uh, the wolf changes his fur but he never changes his behavior he, he's always going to attack the sheep Okay, even if he may look like a sheep. So you have to be with this card in order to not allow that past experience to experience of tackling with things. This isn't a, an, an experience as that you have lived through something, but in generally how you perform. That past experience needs to be not, how can I say, abandoned but more like you have to be open to explore or and to experiment in order not to allow um, this how can i say stubbornness to uh to stop you into the, into your development here the other thing that may truly works to your detriment throughout the week 
that could be the the necessity to connect with somebody that doesn't want to be connected with you because and i'm and i'm saying that because right now the, the the thing in my mind that pops up it is alistair crowley version of the card which is nine of wands you do have the sun and the moon in each side of the wand and the way he explains it, it is that this is the masculine and feminine feminine energy that binds and that is the necessity to be with the opposite sex and uh, and that being said or the opposite gender and that being said you may have somebody that you want to be with uh, but you can't and not because for example that person doesn't want you but it could be that because they are on a business trip somewhere you know uh, or it's just impossible to be with them throughout the week and that could hold you back it could kind of like slumber your enthusiasm and you should not allow that to happen uh, next one it is the positive aspects which are going to uh, push you forward and that is three of wands and it's a bit conditional card that uh, that it is not granted to you but if you are capable to develop it is going to skyrocket you capricorn and what the tree of wands is all about it's uh, it's a couple of things actually first uh, if we are talking about the circumstances the card points that all of the circumstances that you are to find yourself in throughout the week are going to be very favor favorable if not perfect very very close to perfect and that points that you are going to sit on very well established patterns just like the two of ones said uh, and established foundations and what you gotta do which is the other thing about the card it is that you pretty much need to make them worth their while you gotta challenge yourself to do more you gotta lift the bar of your expectations and the bar of your performance as well now that being said, you can expect things in your career to develop in a very good light or in a very good direction and things in your relationship uh, are to be exactly as you have expected in a good way. So your expectations are going to be fully fulfilled. I do hope that your expectations are only positive expectations. If they aren't, make them so. And the last one, it is the guidance that Tarot is offering. That is going to be the Six of Swords. So with the Six of Swords, the guidance in this particular follow-up and reading could be only once or only one with that card. And that is that I know that it is tough to make that transition. Uh, and it's pretty much, it, it looks like that you are jumping in a brand new chapter of your life, something unknown. And anybody at your shoes would have been scared just like probably you probably you are capricorn but what the guidance here is it is that whatever awaits you behind that threshold it only can improve your personal circumstances and for that there is nothing you should be afraid of just put your foot on the other side of the threshold of that transition and you will see that life can be beautiful even without your past so that being said, uh, this was your weekly general tarot reading Capricorn. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it guys. And uh, we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.